What's up? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness and in this video I wanted to talk about some ways to get yourself motivated to work out. Lately I've been finding it a little harder to get myself fired up and I know that a few of my clients have the same issue. Sometimes they just aren't motivated to go and train. So I wanted to share five tips that have helped me get motivated and hopefully that will help some of you watching as well. Before we even get into that though, it's important to set yourself some clear goals, a good solid reason that you're training for. So something that's driving your training in the first place. And it's good if you can make this something stronger than just general fitness. Try not to make it too vague. Something that really drives you or something that entices you to, to get into the gym, to get your diet on, on track and use that as your baseline, as your foundation. But even with that, even with some clear training goals, sometimes we just aren't motivated to go work out. We're really tired, we got a lot of distractions, you know, life gets busy, we got a lot of stuff on our mind. So what can you do? Well, first of all, one of the simplest things is just get a good pre-workout. Sometimes we're just tired. We just don't have that physical energy and stimulants can make all the difference. So if you take a, a good pre-workout or just a strong cup of coffee before you go work out half an hour before, that can be enough to just get you started, to get you amped up, to push yourself through a good workout. Second tip is to find a good training partner. I've been fortunate to have a number of good training partners throughout the years and they've always helped push me through the best workouts. So if you can find someone who is motivated and driven to train, they have some clear goals themselves and they're at a similar level or maybe at a little bit higher level of conditioning, strength and fitness than you are, this can really help push you to get good workouts in and they can motivate you to get into the gym, hold you accountable to meet them there and they can challenge you during your workouts as well. I'll just warm it up. The third motivational tip that I found helpful is to watch some motivational videos before you go to the gym. Now this could be actual motivational training videos or just inspirational videos that get you fired up. I have a number of videos that I've selected that are like my go-tos whenever I'm feeling a little bit lackluster uh, and I always uh, find these very helpful before I go work out. I'm sure you can find several that work for you in the same way. Even motivational quotes or sayings can be very helpful. Tip number four is to listen to some motivational music before you train and during your workout. We all have those songs that just seem to ramp up our energy, get rid of all those distracting thoughts in our head, and get us focused on a good workout or exercise session. So if you can have a playlist of this music ready to go, listen to it before you work out, on your way to the gym, this can make all the difference in getting in an excellent workout. And my final tip, motivational tip number five, is visualization. This is a powerful mental conditioning technique that can be a great asset in your motivational toolbox. In my experience, this is also an often neglected strategy. The, the mental aspect is often left out when people are looking for ways to help motivate themselves or get results, uh, improve their success in whatever area of life that might be. Uh, people often look outwardly. They, they search for things outside of themselves to, to help get results and they often neglect the inner work and really the, the baseline, the foundation for all of your success in life, in my experience, in my opinion, is the inner work. You need to become strong-minded before you can become physically strong and this reflects in uh, every area of your life. You need to work on that, uh, do that inner work. Your inner world sort of creates or manifests your outer world. So if you can take some time to really train the brain this can be a game changer. So what are some ways that you can use visualization to improve your workouts or to get yourself motivated? Well, one of the techniques that I've started using is to picture myself as something more than human. So picture myself as an animal or a beast or maybe an unstoppable machine. So before you go to the gym and while you're in your workout, just get rid of all of those human frailties by imagining yourself as something more than human. It also helps to visualize your entire workout before you go into the gym. Like, See yourself, picture yourself doing every lift successfully. Imagine a strong, successful workout from start to finish. So by visualizing a good workout before you go in, you're basically training your brain to make that happen. I've also found it useful to picture awesome workouts I've had in the past and just really vividly picture them in my mind before I go work out. Another solid visualization technique you can use is to imagine you're preparing for war every time you go to work out. Just psych yourself up as if this is like a life and death situation, a life and death event. You gotta go in and kill that workout. 
Now, if none of these techniques work and nothing seems to get you pumped to go train, then just commit yourself to go in and do at least 15 minutes of some kind of exercise. Sometimes you just gotta to listen to your body. You just haven't had enough sleep or you haven't eaten enough and physically you don't have it in you. But if you can just commit to going in and do a little bit of something, Sometimes once you're there, you never know, you might actually feel like getting in a whole workout once you get going. So just showing up is half the battle. Just get your ass to the gym or to whatever sort of workout you're doing and do something. I hope you found these motivational tips helpful. If you did, give the video a like. And if you got any questions or comments, post them down below. And until next time, stay strong.